Hey guys, Mercury Mark, this is part two. I know the last video was quite getting quite long, so I decided to break it up into two different sections. Um, hopefully you guys are still hanging around, you're checking out the videos. So, the second part is my 2017 stacking goals. So, I wanted to share those. I still have quite a bit of my collection out here. So let's kind of dig in and let's check this out, what I got. So, going forward this year, some of my stacking goals and kind of strategy here. Let's see if we can zoom in so I don't have to move this as close. Is continue with my silver Philharmonic set, which is 2008 through now, uh, now 2017. So I'll have to pick up one more will be for that one. The next one will be moving on to my um, Lunar 2 series set. I've been collecting the one ounce and the two ounce, as you know, and I will continue those, so I need to get the rooster. Um, obviously that's been out, and I know there's been quite a few videos that have been done on that front. And uh, the beautiful, beautiful design by the Perth Mint, um, hands down. So look forward to seeing that one here as well. And then um, carrying over, obviously, these three, and one more that I had was my Buffalo uh, Dance Go set um, booklet that I'd like to continue to fill here as well. So. I'm really looking forward to that one. I've actually kept got my eyes out for uh, a few that are out there and actually spoke to a couple local friends here as well to keep some eyes out. And they might be uh, sharing uh, some uh, extra and duplicate dates that they have that are out there. Moving on to number two, graded sets. So, as you can see down here, the first one is a 2017 NGC PF 70 silver ATP set. So, that set that I have here, this wonderful, wonderful, beautiful set. I wanna to continue to um, do that, obviously, through the series. So, um, gonna look forward to the mints, and I believe those might be actually, I'm trying to recall the production list uh, for the US Mint, but I believe that those were one of the, like the first couple items or a couple products that are on the run list, uh, production list for the US Mint, so. Um, I might try to see if I can try to get one of the sets and either get them sent in or I might just check the secondary market. A lot of it depends upon the design and what's coming out um, and the popularity behind it and uh, how many dealers actually send them in for grading. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy them on the secondary market than send them in to get them graded yourself here as well. So the next one was an NGC MS64 Franklin set. And... So I do have that one out here. And those of you guys that have been watching a lot of my newer videos have known that I'm starting a Franklin graded set. So Franklin half. So I'm doing a date and a mint set all the way throughout. So this is the proof for 1963. And uh, I have a few more of these on their way. Um, I've been keeping my eyes out for great deals. It is NGC. I know there's been a lot of discussion. NGC, PCGS. Um, I, I just really like NGC. So um, that's me. Obviously, you've seen a lot of my graded slabs. They're all NGC graded. And uh, thoroughly enjoy them. I have lots of them here as well. So look forward to continue on that one. Secondary, moving on. Once um, either I complete that one um, or maybe kind of partial way through. I'd really like to start another uh, graded set, and most likely, um, I think I might go with the Peace Dollar, which I have listed down here. That might change. I'm not sure. So that one's kind of that one's kind of up, <laughs> up for debate here. Moving on, uh, number three, Bullion and Constitutional Silver. So this kind of gives in a little bit more of my strategy for 2017. Um, besides the graded coins that I have and continue the collections. This is kind of more my strategy. I'm I'm looking to go more of the constitutional route when it comes to the silver. Um, as for bullion silver, I'm probably not going to buy as much um, that's out there. I'm probably going to be focusing a little bit more on gold. And I've seen that, um, and I'm sure if you guys have heard that across the community a little bit more too, especially from the gold side of it. But the constitutional silver, um, that's what I'd like to pick up more going throughout it. So. The sub goals that I have down here is continue to fill my one ten ounce American Eagle Gold Eagle tube. Finish this guy off. Um, I did put down here American Silver Eagles. Obviously, you guys know I, I buy those. Um, if there's deals out there and I just cannot pass those up, I, I'm 
I'm going to buy them on that front, especially American Silver Eagles. I think they're a great value when they're priced properly. Um, I'm not going to just go out and buy them just to buy them. Uh, that's that front. So looking for great deals. That's the only time I'm really going to be buying those. Um, outside of that, I'm still looking to continue on with the mercury dimes. So and that's where it gets into my constitutional silver as well as some of my graded slabs. That's where my silver um, purchases are mainly going to be focused on here as well. All right, moving on. I have give back to the community. I left that one on here. Keep learning and sharing my knowledge with fellow stackers, collectors, and flippers. And then the last one, I updated my personal goal. And I'm always, always an advocate of writing it down because I think you try to hold yourself to it. And plus, it's publicized here as well. But stack on the pounds for personal health. Yes, that is right, snack on the pounds. Last year, it was lose them. This year is add a few more. I set some goals for myself, as I mentioned to you. Um, I'm still being physically fit. I'm still riding my bike quite extensively, but I've also gotten into strength training. And I've set three goals for myself to try to hit this year. First one is to do the bench press. I'd like to hit 315 pounds. I'd like to squat 450 and deadlift 450. Um, I think the last two I'll probably actually hit before the bench. Um, I'm pretty close on these, and most likely in the next couple months, I have a feeling, um, just the way uh, my lifting strategy has been going here as well. So these are my stacking strategies and goals for 2016. You guys let me know what you think of these down below um, from that side. But I'll give you guys another wonderful look at the coins that I have here again. And if there's something that you guys would love to see or questions you guys have um, for my uh, my stack or my strategy, shoot me an email or uh, leave me a message down below or if you got a um, suggestion, what else you guys would like to see um, or videos made, please let me know. Till next time guys, take care.